how are we going to transform the standard form of a linear equation into its slope, intercept form, and vice versa? Know how in this video. Good day learners, what we're going to discuss now is how to change the standard form of a linear equation into its slope intercept form and vice versa. So, uunahin muna natin yung pag-write or pag-change sa standard form ng linear equation into its slope intercept form. As we all know, the standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by is equal to c. While on the other hand, yung slope intercept form naman ng linear equation is y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung mga given natin dito ay written in standard form. At itatransform natin sila into slope intercept form. So, first one, we have 5x plus 3y is equal to 18. So, yung gagawin lang natin una is that we're going to transpose yung term na may variable x sa right side ng equation. So, yung matitira sa left side ng equation would be yung term na may variable y. Okay, so we're going to bring down lang yung 3y equals, we're going to transpose 5x. So since positive 5x siya, pag nilipat natin magiging negative 5x. Then bring down yung constant term natin na 18. Okay, next step, we make sure na yung numerical coefficient ng y would be equal to positive 1. So we need to get rid of 3. How are we going to do that? We need to divide both sides by 3, or positive 3. Okay? So, maka-cancel out si 3. So, 1 na lang yung natira. So, we have sa right side would be y. Then, we're going to divide yung nasa right side, yung mga terms yung nasa right side ng equation. So, first, we have negative 5x divided by 3. So, that would be negative 5 over 3 x. So, pwede na natin siyang hindi isulat into decimals. Okay lang na fraction in simplest form. Next, 18 divided by 3. So, that would be positive 6. So, this would be our slope intercept form for this particular linear equation. Okay, number 2. We have x plus y is equal to 17. Okay? So, si so same pa rin yung gagawin natin. Bring down natin yung y or we'll make sure na Yung y na lang yung nasa uh, left side ng equation natin. Then, transpose natin si x, it will become negative x. Bring down the constant, positive 17. So, since yung numerical coefficient ng y is already 1 or positive 1, so there is no need to divide both sides of the equation by a particular uh, coefficient. So, this would be our final answer. So, ito na yung slope-intercept form niya. y is equal to negative x plus 17. Okay? Next, 20x minus 4y is equal to 32. Again, bring down natin yung term na may variable na y. So, we have negative 4y. Okay? Next, we're going to transpose positive 20 sa right side ng equation. So, magiging negative 20x. Then, bring down natin yung constant positive 32 or plus 32. Then, both sides, we're going to divide it by negative 4. Okay, para makancel out natin dito. So, yung sa left side, y na lang yung natira. Okay? Then, by term, i-divide natin siya by negative 4. So, negative 20x divided by negative 4, that is equal to positive 5. So, 5x. Okay? 32 divided by negative 4, that would be equal to negative so, the final answer is y is equal to 5x minus 8. Okay, this time we're going to do the opposite. So, we are given the slope-intercept form of the linear equation and we're going to transform that one into its standard form. So, sa mga examples natin, they are already written in y is equal to mx plus b. At isusulat natin sila into the form ax plus by is equal to c. Okay, let's have example number 1. y is equal to 2x plus 1. So since ito yung uh, form na ifa-follow natin, we make sure na yung term na may variable x would be transposed to the left side of the equation. So 
yung positive 2x, kailangan natin siyang ilipat sa left side ng equation. So, positive 2x becomes now negative 2x. Okay? Big down lang natin yung y kasi hindi siya nilipat. So, positive y or plus y pa rin. Equals yung constant. So, yung constant term is matitira sa right side ng equation. So, bring down 1, we have 1 or positive 1. Now, for convenience, we make sure na yung numerical coefficient ng variable x natin is always positive. Pero, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung numerical coefficient ng x natin is negative 2 or negative. So, paano siya magiging positive? So, we're going to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. Okay? So, negative 1 times negative 2x, it becomes positive 2x. Negative 1 times uh, y, that becomes negative y. And negative 1 times positive 1, that is negative 1. So, this would be our final answer. So, okay lang na negative yung y at saka yung constant term as long as yung numerical coefficient ng variable x is always positive. And at the same time, it would be convenient na wala ring fraction na makikita sa final answer natin. Okay, let's proceed with example number 2. So, we have y is equal to negative 3 halves x plus 5. Again, kailangan nating ilipat si uh, negative 3 halves x sa left side ng equation. So, yung negative 3 halves now becomes 3 halves or positive 3 halves x. Then, bring down lang natin yung y plus y is equal to 5. Okay, positive na yung numerical coefficient ng x. However, fraction yung numerical coefficient niya. So, dapat gawin siyang whole number. Or how are we going to uh, get rid of the fraction form? So, para matanggal yung fraction form, so we need to multiply the whole equation by the least common multiple of the denominators of each term. So, we have 3 halves. Ang denominator niya is 2. Sa so y naman is 1. At sa 5 naman is 1. So, yung LCM nila is equal to 2. So, we are going to multiply the whole equation by 2 or positive 2. So, 2 times 3 halves x, makakancel out si 2. So, matitira na lang is 3x. Okay, bakit nakancel out? 2 times 3, you will have 6. 6 divided by 2, that would be equal to 3. Okay, shortcut lang yung cancel out ko. So, natira would be 3x. Next, after nito, si 2 naman, we're going to multiply it to y. So, 2 times y, you will have 2y. Okay? Lastly, 2 multiplied by 5, you will have 10. So, yung final answer natin would be 3x plus 2y is equal to 10. And for our last example, we have y is equal to 5 halves x plus 7 over 3. Okay? Again, lipat natin yung uh, term na may variable x. So, we have negative 5 halves x. Bring down y plus y is equal to 7 over 3. Now, same sa ginawa natin sa number 2. We're going to, uh, we need to get rid of the fraction na mga coefficient. So, paano siya gagawin? Titignan natin yung denominators ng bawat term. We have 2. Yung denominator naman ng y is 1. And sa constant term natin, we have 3. Hahanapin natin yung LCM nila. Okay? So, yung LCM ng 2 at saka 3 is equal to uh, 6. Okay? Paano ba hahanapin yung LCM? Suppose we have 2 and 3. So, we simply do skip counting. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. And so on. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and so on. So, yung first na common na multiple nila, yun yung LCM natin. So, we're going to multiply the whole equation by 6. Okay. But this time, hindi siya positive 6. We're going to have negative 6. Okay. Bakit negative 6 yung multiply natin? Kasi kung positive 6 yung multiply natin, yung first term natin will still be negative. So, since negative man siya, so we're going to multiply a negative number. Okay. Negative 6 times 5 halves or negative 5 halves. So, paano siya gagawin? Negative 6, multiply man natin sa numerator. Negative 6 times negative 5, that is equal to positive 30. 
Kung ano man yung result, i-divide natin sa denominator. So, positive 30 divided by 2, that would be equal to 15. Okay. The answer natin dito would be 15x. Next, negative 6 times positive y. So, we will have negative 6y. And lastly, negative 6 times 7 over 3. Again, mumultiply muna natin sa numerator. Negative 6 times positive 7, that is equal to negative 42. Negative 42 divided by 3, that is equal to negative 14. So, our final answer would be 15x minus 6y is equal to negative 14. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.